we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Almighty Father, the more we humble ourselves, the more we lower ourselves, we become humble. The more we humble ourselves, we love God. The more we humble ourselves, we become a blessed man. At this dawn, as much as we love God, we receive. May we all be prosperous, blessed men. How wrong have we lived? May this morning be a time where we realize. And at this dawn, may we receive help. May our descendants receive blessings and may we be known as a blessed family. May we be patriots. May we realize what a patriot is. And may we know what an instrument of righteousness is. In Jesus' name we thank you and bless. Amen. At this dawn, if we do too much, it's unlimited. So someone who is a blessed man, someone who has popularity, wherever you go, people give you profit. How good would it be if we can live like this? Even someone you've met for the first time, for them to give you profit. I experience this so much. You know, some fakes say, or someone prayed and received, you know, 5,000 answers. You're supposed to receive answers 24 hours a day. What to receive? 5,000 answers throughout your lifetime? To say that, that is so stupid. Even in one day you could receive 5,000 answers. Why? Because it's continuously answers. So to say, oh, someone's received so many, you know, this number of answers. How many times should you breathe throughout your nose? Continuously. That's Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. If you have done forced repentance properly, you've received Jesus as the gift of faith. That means 24 hours a day. God will perform miracles so that you can give thanksgiving to him continuously. But to say, oh, in my lifetime I've received 500 or 5,000 answers, that's nonsense. The fact that they say that, that's a fake, a demon. It is so not correct according to the word. So whoever you meet, that person, if you want them to help you, for you to have popularity, then let's say amen. That means your children will help you. If you, strangers are helping you, then of course your children will help you. They will become obedient. Someone who's obedient, then they won't fight with their siblings. An obedient child has sibling affection. So if someone's not right according to the word, their siblings um, are enemies and the, and the children are disobedient. How can a beast be obedient? So if you don't have popularity, then, then you can't have obedient children. If you don't do according to the word, it doesn't happen by your strength. At this dawn, let's become, let's change to someone who has popularity. If you, if you don't, if you say that I um, gave money to feed my neighbor or, you know, paid for their school fees, you expect them to to be popular with them? No. The more you help someone, they become more of your enemy. The more you help someone, they become your enemy. And that's why as people live, they don't want to help others. Because if you help others, they they turn against you. In other words, you become ruined. So they don't want to help. Because as they live, that's what they've experienced. And also the parents, the elders, that's what they teach you. They say, don't help others. They'll always turn on you. So even though you want to do good things, these young people, they don't do it. Because they know that they're going to turn evil. That's what, they, what, that's what happens. And that's what the Bible says. So the key to making them not 
turn against you. Let's all receive this today. God is so good. God is so good. I don't know if it was last year, but something came out on TV. A celebrity, they were poor. Their family was poor. And so they always went to their friend's house to to be fed. And, and that's how they succeeded. Success in the world is a lie. Success, worldly success is where you always turn on someone. You know, if you say, oh, I raised 50 people, they all turn against you. So how can that be success? And yet people call that success. Oh, my grandfather, he had some high position. He held many people. They all turned against him. And so you think that your your grandfather or your family was 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 well renowned, but it all comes back with them turning against you. So only God can change this. Let's read one Peter chapter one verse twenty two. So when we meditate on one Bible verse of the of the Bible, even if Korea was filled with bookshelves. That you wouldn't be able to interpret one Bible verse. So which book is the biggest book? It's God's Word. Yet people don't know this. They talk about these worldly books saying, oh, we can't read it all. With that, that level, to, to call themselves learned you know it's like with like if you realize this word even a little you realize that this worldly learning is elementary it doesn't matter how much you learn at elementary school it's elementary let's read 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 22 since you have in obedience to the truth purified your souls for a sincere love of the brethren fervently love one another from the heart amen i'll read it since you have in obedience to the truth so you meaning anyone truth meaning the holy trinity so obedience to the truth purified your souls that means your consciences are alive for a sincere love of the brethren fervently love one another from the heart many people say that they love their neighbor particularly churches these you look at these fake sermons they say love your neighbor that is the new commandment of God so if we could love then we wouldn't need the Bible it's because we can't so the words are good but it doesn't work the way to make it work is the mystery of Christ. But because they do not speak the mystery of Christ, that it just becomes food that we look at. So, even someone that we meet for the first time, for them to help you, for you to have popularity. Every day, do you know how much help I receive? Even someone who I've met for the first time, whether they be elderly or a, or a small child. Why is it that you can't receive that help? Why don't you receive that popularity? Because you don't receive that popularity, everything you do uh, is people is to make people turn against you. That's why you're afraid to meet people. You know, people say there's nothing as scary as meeting people. Why is it that people say that? Because that's all you've done. That's all your ancestors have done. That's what they've planted. So if we genuinely love our neighbor, they won't betray you. They will not harm you. They will profit you. 
so when when can we become someone like that when we first obey the truth then what you do to others comes back rightly but because you haven't obeyed the truth what you, whatever you do to others it comes back as them turning on you so you say that you do good works but you will be betrayed because you don't obey the truth someone who obeys the truth genuinely loves their neighbor but there no one obeys the truth because people do not preach this and they just say love your neighbor to give them a sack of rice or to pay for someone's school fees and then you think that you've loved your neighbor no if anything they turn against you you try and do any good work they all turn against you it's always one that you help out that turns against you it's exactly according to God's word why does this happen why is it that my children aren't obedient someone said to me yesterday teacher If we did to others half of what we did to our children they wouldn't forget this grace and I thought to myself you are stupid even if you do exactly the same to them as you do to your son they will still turn against you so there are a lot of people who don't pass the inheritance down to their children but to others why because it doesn't matter how much they raise up their children they turn against you why is it that people only want to have a few children like one because those children turn against you yes that's right but is that what God said no he said they will be obedient that there will be sibling affection but it's because we don't know the way you know someone said if you treat others the way you treat your children they wouldn't forget that grace and they and I, and I thought to myself you are so stupid because they don't know the truth that person is probably of a different religion or they go to a fake church they don't know what does God say if you truly love your neighbor what you think that giving them money or you give up your life to save them you think that's love no that's bad luck you died someone who obeys the truth even though they don't seem like they love their neighbor that is true love so what comes back to you popularity your children become obedient let's receive this amazing thing God is so good God is so good this is this is an amazing thing so this one Bible verse if you meditate on this for many years you know it's extraordinary you couldn't you couldn't interpret this even in over a few years to become someone who's pop popular whoever you meet someone who's fortunate every time you meet someone they give you profit whoever you meet they give you profit let's live like this someone who lives like this their children are obedient what is why would they be obedient because they do well you look at people whose children aren't doing well the parents all don't have popularity so the difference between having popularity and not is if you obey the truth if you first become someone who obeys the truth if you pray for someone next to you God will, will give them answers so that person says oh I wish I could be with with you so these pastors that come from overseas they come to see me even though they don't meet me they come again a flower they don't greet you and yet people seek flowers why because it's beautiful and it smells nice everyone seeks flowers because there's honey inside nectar inside and there's scent inside if you obey the truth 
you don't have to say oh I smell nice don't, don't I they come seeking you just like a butterfly or a bee seeks flowers that's someone who has popularity even if they just stand still so it's when you obey the truth that's when you can sincerely love others that person has so much po popularity but if you don't obey the truth and you pretend to help others you pretend to love others they turn against you so how how can we change this to blessings when we obey the truth so that the sign of this change comes out in me and my children why is it that we don't have popularity we don't obey obedience brings about miracles where water becomes wine can I obey of my own accord no we have to obey the truth how can we obey the truth the truth let's read 1 John chapter 5 verse 7 it's to receive the whole Trinity and the last step to receive the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit is not something we can decide to receive or not you have to continue with foster repentance you have to get to the end where your actions are changed that's when you receive the Holy Spirit so it's almost at the end that you receive the Holy Spirit so just because you receive the Holy Spirit that's not the end if the Holy Spirit was the end then it wouldn't say obey the truth it's by obeying the truth that you can genuinely love your neighbor and become a man oh I've I've served my spouse why is it they won't acknowledge me you've only used them for your profit you are evil if you loved your spouse without obeying the truth you are evil oh but I love my wife so much how could she do this to me these people who come out who say oh it's so unfair these these dogs that are barking when they come out on TV because you don't know the truth you know people allow them to be on TV if you knew the truth someone would say you are so wrong you because of your greed you just try to use your wife but instead they just sit there listening to it so without this word our society cannot have the correct standard you say that you love your wife if you truly love your wife what giving money is love buying them nice clothes is that love you know to let them do whatever they want is that love so your the wife is is wanting true love which is of God but no matter how well the husband treats them the wife goes out and has an affair and goes out dancing and so it's only when you obey the truth that's if you give that love then there is no there is no change and that's when there is no divorce so it's not by money or or by fame it's by obeying the truth how precious is this promise so this mystery of obeying the truth why does it say obey the truth so the truth is the Trinity so Christ Jesus God the Holy Spirit they're all truth so because we don't have an, enough time we're just going to talk about the Holy Spirit the last that is given let's read 1 John chapter 5 verse 7 for there are three that testify amen so the spirit is truth so by obeying the Holy Spirit the truth and that's why 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 15 this is important we have to be holy this is God's commandment we have to be holy why does he tell us to be holy you have to be holy in order to obey 
So without the Holy Spirit, you cannot have holiness. So after receiving the Holy Spirit, you have to become holy, and that's when you can obey. So we have to do four-step repentance continuously until we receive the Holy Spirit. And we have to continue with four-step repentance after receiving the Holy Spirit to become holy. So to not have this and to say you love your neighbor, what a lie. So starting from the pastors, they're lying. They're saying things that don't work. And that's why pastors and their wives, they, they don't have a good spouse relationship. Matthew chapter 19 verse 45. In Korea, in this world, how many pastors are one with their wives? If you don't obey this word, there, there are none. That's what God says. And so they're all fake. By obeying the truth, spouses genuinely love each other. And brothers genuinely love each other. So as you're sitting here, I'm just thinking, you are so fake. How can you just sit there like that? hearing God's word that's why disasters and curses don't leave that's why you don't have popularity even though you serve someone so much they won't even thank you even if you raise people up in your own home and you pay all their school fees that's what I used to do in my past too I had a relative who wasn't married and they always came to my house to be fed and, and helped and they got a job and they didn't thank me at all so at the beginning I cursed her oh if you help someone they'll always turn against you but after realizing the word I realized it's me that's betrayed God it's for me to realize and to repent that's what I heard so we have to repent for our ears to be open our eyes to be open may we all receive these blessings now it will work God is so good so it's for us to do well so if you're doing well and someone helps you you do more well that's what popularity is you keep doing well and that's why your children do well which way do you want to go let's go the way where we do well we have to obey the truth so what is the truth there are so many people who don't know the truth they call themselves doctors and yet they don't know what truth is truth they say things like Oh, truth is where you know it, it shines all the way inside you no the truth is the Holy Trinity to not know this you look at all these people who are renowned you see the way they die you say to them how many people come to you to say thank you God's Word you know if you if you love your spouse why is it that your spouse is not coming home oh why how could she do this it's because you haven't loved them and that's why children have grown up beneath that how can they be obedient how can they be sibling affection if you genuinely love your spouse that means you have no greed someone who obeys the truth has no greed then the children in that family or whatever disease is healed but you don't do this and then you say why am I not doing well you have demons inside of you how can you expect to do well you need to first cast out those demons it's because of you that you've killed your children but you don't know this and you keep saying it's not working you have to obey the truth but this obedience you To receive the Holy Spirit, you have to do a lot of four-step repentance. But after receiving the Holy Spirit, you have to become holy. Let's read verse 15. Uh, 
So it's for 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 15. So it's all your actions, not 99%, all your actions. So, but like the Holy One who called you, be holy yourselves also in all your behavior. So after receiving the Holy Spirit, we have to be holy and that's when we can obey. So 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 2. So the pastor in front has to know the right way. You know, if you, there are people who die in the desert or in the mountains because they can't find the way. And that's why the pastor in front of you, if he doesn't repent and he's blind and deaf. You know, if you are deaf and blind and you read the Bible, you can't see it or hear it. That's why they say these fake sermons. But these fakes go and follow these fakes and listen to the fake sermons. So there are only a few who are true. There are more fakes. This is what is pitiful in the time of Noah. Only a few lived, but many died, and yet we can't distinguish. You think that where there's a majority, that's where you live, but that's you go to hell. There are only a few kernels. Let's read 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 2. According to the foreknowledge of God the Father, by the sanctifying work of the Spirit, to obey Jesus Christ and be sprinkled with his blood, may grace and peace be yours in the fullest measure. Amen. So here it talks about Jesus Christ and the sprinkling of his blood. You know, after you hear four step repentance, you start to know what this is. You know that this is four step repentance. So before this, by the sanctifying work of the Spirit. So it's it's the sanctifying work of the Spirit that makes us obey. So without this, to say that you love your neighbor, it's all a lie. So if you say that you're doing something in the church, you know you're doing it by your greed, by your lusts. After you do it, you'll receive disasters. So you think that you've done good works, but you have to repent. Because you have to be holy in all your behavior. You haven't received the Holy Spirit. You don't have holiness. So you pretend you're obeying, but you're doing it according to your feelings. So if, if you don't feel well, you don't come. And that's why you don't do well. Your children don't do well. Your business doesn't do well. You don't have popularity. So only people only want to embezzle and cheat you. No one wants to help you. So to become someone with popularity. So that anyone comes and helps you. As time goes on to do more and more well. God wants you to be like that. Isn't this our men? So today, whoever comes, if someone comes to disadvantage you, that means you haven't obeyed. You're not obeying God. So that person, when they make your heart hurt, they are showing your sin. So by the law, if you rep if you repent by the law, then God will forgive you and he will give you the Holy Spirit. When he gives you the Holy Spirit, you can't just finish there. You have to repent again. So that person who tormented you, then you realize they've come to give you blessings. So before you repent, but now you see it as blessings. So as you repent, holiness, 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 5, is prayer with the word. So you realize that that person is bringing you blessings according to the word. And when you become holy, you can obey. So when you obey, so that evil person who's about to sue you will give up and end up helping you. Isn't this our man? Let's be witnesses of this. Let's become witnesses of this. This is amazing. This is so good. So Pastor Park, he with these keys, 
all over the world people come for counseling people come and say oh you know I'm having a fight or I'm being sued and then during revival they come and say oh they're not suing me anymore and they just and they just w want to be f friends so let's all receive these miracles let's all be popular we'll all do well we let's not have these blessings taken away from us that's when our children do well may we surely be blessed men let's all pray how good is this and Pastor Park I go all over the world confidently when you spread the gospel you become someone who's whose name is renowned it's with the gospel that your name shines so if you do not spread the gospel then others who get raised up but as soon as the gospel gets ra uh, gets spoken then the others all go down and I get raised up why don't you want to receive this so it's not just me being raised up everyone receives blessings problems are solved diseases are healed let's all receive this God is so good God is truly good by obeying the truth only that person can go to heaven so there's not many who can go to heaven so according to God's word it is like the times of Noah Matthew chapter 24 verse 39 to 40 let's be in that number and go to heaven so to live filthily and to expect your children to do well to receive blessings no let's pay attention we would do well according to the word let's all pray father whoever we meet it's for me to become popular for me to have blessings in my late age it's for my children to do well we believe that you will make us meet many people may we obey the truth and become blessed men wherever we go may we have popularity may our children do more well in Jesus name we thank you and bless Amen if we do according to this word there will be miracles diseases will be healed problems will be solved you will do more and more well by these blessings may we give glory